We're at WTF Motorsports today with F80 Danny. What up, boys? Continuation of a previous video that we made. Yes, sir. We have some goodies in the trunk. Show them what arrived. Sorry for the noise. Jeez, we got the V-Lands. We got the v <laughs> boys. Nah, we got the OEM CS taillights. Let's Good go. to go, ready to be installed. Really Jeez. hyped for this mod. Oh, the new one? Yeah, right Fire. here. They're all new, they're all new. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Damn. these are gonna look absolutely fire. Heck yeah. Super hyped to get these on. So we are at WTF Motorsports today, our go-to shop in Orlando. Make sure you guys follow Curtis, Raymond, and the team. They always do the best work on all of our cars and all the guys' cars. But yeah, while my car is getting worked on uh, for another video, we are gonna install these CS taillights probably here in the parking lot. Yep. It should be pretty easy. They're plug and play and everything's OEM. So yep, we don't, you don't have to switch the harness as far as I know. You just pop exactly. them out, put the new ones in. You're but yeah, these should be direct swap and plug and play. So let's yep. go. Big hype. Show you guys a couple of the cars here. We got a beautiful Clown Shoes E3. Beautiful Amola Red, I think, E46 M3. And this is Curtis, shop owner, WTF Motorsports, personal E90. Thing is a beauty. A lot of construction around here, sorry for the noise. But look at Curtis's E90. Look at that intake, just chilling right behind the grill. Super cool. Sounds super mean. S65, best sounding BMW engines ever made. It is a beautiful day to install some tail lights. Yes, sir. Let's do it. It's a little bit dirty because of the rain, but uh, it's okay. It's not a look mint. LCIs look fire, but the CS ones with the darker outline and the darker shadow is gonna look way cleaner on Danny's car, especially for the theme that he's going for. So yeah, let's get into it. Danny's gonna mask off the paint around the tail light. And then, like I said, this should be a simple plug and play swap, so it shouldn't be too bad. All right, similar to the last video, I'm gonna walk Danny through what he has to do. I mean, he's already done this before on his F22, so I'm just gonna guide him if he has any questions, but it's pretty straightforward. You just take off this plastic weather strip right here yeah. with like a flathead, feel like a push pin, but you can unravel it by just loosening it. So it's just one and then this comes out? Yeah. Nice. And that's gonna expose two eight millimeter bolts, I believe, one and two. So again, all you do is twist uh, counterclockwise and then the little pin should come out pretty easily and then that reveals the back of the tail light and then also what we're gonna do is remove these B pillars right here which are just held in by two plastic clips and then we're gonna move the trunk liner which is held in by I think eight Phillip head screwdriver screws and then that's gonna hold in the trunk liner so we can access the inner tail lights that's the new one yes yeah, sir in the Sun Sheesh. black line for those of you guys don't don't know the difference, tell them, Danny, what's the difference? So it's very subtle, but very subtle, super so. noticeable, like in camera and in person. Yeah, if you see these like chromed out pieces all throughout the tail light, they're all blacked out on this one, which I really like. Yeah, you see how darker that one is on the outline? It looks so much like sleeker, so much cleaner. Yeah. If I ever go back to LCIs, I'm probably gonna get some CS tail lights as well. So nice. They just look so sleek. But yeah, we're gonna tackle the outside ones first. Again, it's a very straightforward install. You're gonna unscrew these 10 millimeter bolts. I think I said eight millimeter before. And then we're gonna undo the trunk liner, which, which is very easy. We'll show you how to do that, which will expose the inner tail lights, which are held in by another, uh, ten, or I think it's an eight millimeter on the inside. So catch up with you guys after that. Harness. Once you undo those bolts, you can just pull the headlight out and then it's held in by a wire harness. This might be the easiest install ever. It's a noisy street, sorry guys. <laughs> but all you do is pinch the clip inwards and then replace it. It's literally, what did that take, 30 seconds? <laughs> so the outer ones are obviously the easiest, especially if they're plug and play. Make sure it's seated in correctly. And then what I like to do is like, maybe I'll hold the headlight in or tail light in as much as Danny wants and then he'll tighten down the bolts. So let me see what it looks like here. Yeah, because you want to make sure the gaps on on the top and bottom are the same all around. So he's gonna check this side. Yeah, all right. What I did when I installed my tail lights was I just pushed in like with either the top or the bottom and then tightened down and then I was able to get my gap fitted accordingly. Then he's doing the other side, but we have the outer 
right installed already and as you guys can see it looks super clean ready? all right so we're gonna test out just make sure they work yeah ready Sonia to press they worked they worked or you're gonna do yeah, the, the top not the top one so they work yeah yeah they work yo they work a they noose work, they work. <laughs> all right now to do the inners so what we're gonna do is take off these pillars right here. Danny, you can do it with a flat head or you can do it with your nail. It's like two little clips that you kind of just take off. I just do it with my nail. All right. And they snap open like so, just like this. You can do it with a flat head or if you have a yeah, nail. This one's not going out as easy. Yeah. There, there we go. go. And that's gonna allow us to take off the trunk liner more easily. So there are 10 little Phillip head screwdriver uh, push pins as well as screws that you could take out. There's two up here. And then there's also two under here. So don't forget about those. Danny's doing that now. And there's two right here. And then four on top and then four on the back. So there's 10 total. And then that'll expose this uh, trunk liner and then it'll allow us to take off this handle which will expose all the uh, tail lights on the inner side. All right, so once you have those screws out, you can take off the, the trunk lever. It's pretty easy. And then you can just let this hang. And then what Danny's gonna do now is there's two little eight millimeter bolts. I'm not sure why they made them different, but yeah. that's what's holding in the, the headlight. And then you're just gonna undo the wire harness as well. So you can go ahead and do that. Yo, everybody driving by, thanks for probably like professional YouTubers. All right. <laughs> All right, so once you undo these bolts and then unplug the clip for the, the harness, all you have to do is really just pull them out. <laughs> yeah. And you want to pull them, obviously, away from the paint. And then putting them in is actually the trickier part of this job, but we'll catch up with you guys once Danny does that. Checking in with you guys again. We got the inner left driver's side taillight out. Man, I'm telling you, this street is crazy busy. All right, no vlogging now. All right, from construction to ambulances, I this is definitely a super loud vlog, so sorry about that. But if you guys are having trouble yourself, I remember when I installed my taillights, you have to uh, loosen this bolt for this plastic clip in order to get the inner uh, side of the taillight in, because it hooks in from the side. It's hard to tell, Yeah. but we have a tab. Let me uh, flip it upside down. There's a tab right here that hooks in pretty easily to the outer edge of the of the bumper but this clip you have to really loosen up or yeah. otherwise you won't get this side in first yeah make sure this is as loose as possible barely holding on and that allows you enough play to snap it into place yeah exactly this gave me a tough time but we finally figured it out again if you're installing tail lights yourself but overall it's not too bad i just knew the inner ones were going to be a bitch <laughs> all right before we put the uh, trunk liner on we're going to test them out they work they work let's go give you some better angles as you guys can see the outline is just darker again like I said before it's more sleek and it just complements Danny's car like so much yeah that's that's game changer that's a game changer for sure huge huge those look so good oh yeah big hype and now we're just gonna put on the trunk liner button everything up should be a wrap good to go oh yeah big hype big hype big hype boys but man they look clean all right, that's a wrap. That is a wrap. We got OEM CS tail lights installed on Danny's Avis Blue F80. Looks fucking money. So damn good. I'll have him move it over to the shade over here so you guys can get a better look. Yep. It's gonna look super sleek, and then you'll be able to see like the lights actually illuminated as well. But even from standing here in the oh, sun, shit. looks baller. All right, that is a wrap. We out here. These are Danny's. CS tail lights, they look so sick. You guys see it. Woo wee! Sheesh! So good. Oh yeah. Again, shout out to Danny, my boy. Shout out to Viet for helping out. Make sure you guys give him a follow. You guys will see him on the on the channel very shortly. But yeah, that's a wrap guys. Like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for the next one. Bow. <laughs>